Frenchman's belly warmer <laughs> and an automatic pin dispenser. Useful. And you can see more of them in Wisbeach. <laughs> the exhibition of weird and wonderful inventions is taking place at Peckover House. Stuart Ratcliffe went along. Perched on the edge of Wisbeach's historic North Brink, this is a place where time has stood still. But now it's home to inventions whose time simply never came. Like this bizarre attempt to reduce car crime, which is little more than a firework. This is the original car alarm. You fix it up to your spark plug. If someone gets in that shouldn't, they press the accelerator, it blows up and it smokes and screams and sets on fire. And probably the engine as well. And if you think that sounds crazy, how about a pig bristle remover, a jam donut filler, or even a crochet ball holder? The list goes on and on. Now, one invention which sadly didn't take off is this one. It's the non-spill, non-drip teapot. You simply pump your tea into the cup like that, and there you have it. The perfect cuppa, made even better if served in this cup, and you happen to have a moustache as it comes with a very handy moustache protector to keep your tash dry. This strangely British collection is on display until the middle of September and offers a unique insight into the wacky world of what just might have been. Stuart Radcliffe, BBC Look East, Whiz Beach. I like a jam donut. You jacket. had a moustache protecting mug, did, didn't you? Yeah, but no moustache to go with it. No, and I didn't use it. I didn't like <laughs> it the look of it. One, but I bought it at a jumbo sale. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> you do, yeah. <laughs> I like the teapot. <laughs> yeah. Me too, though. Well, I've got some fabulous pictures to start the forecast this evening. This dragonfly, uh, snapped by Andrew at Liddington in Bedfordshire, and this one taken by Robert at Warren Heath near Ipswich. And in fact, it's purged on Robert's washing line, and it sat there for about 20 minutes over the weekend. Now, lots of those dragonflies in my garden too, and plenty of them probably doing a little bit of evening uh, sunbathing this evening because as